You know, we love here on the Morning Blend to be able to give you resources if you need them and are maybe struggling right now. And that's exactly what the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay likes to do as well. And did you know this year they are celebrating their 50th anniversary? So to talk more about their community initiatives and how they are making this 50th year very special, let's go ahead and welcome in Clara Reynolds from the Crisis Center. Claire, it's good to see you. How you doing? Natalie, it's fabulous to see you. I am doing wonderful. Happy New Year to you and all your viewers out there. Oh, Happy New Year. Uh, before we dive in, though, if people have not heard of the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay or perhaps they're new to the area and want to know more, let's go ahead and just start out with telling people about your organization. So the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay's mission is to ensure that no one in our community has to face crisis alone. And that word crisis might make you a little uncomfortable, but really a crisis is just somebody with a life's problem that needs help finding the solution. And so we're the ones to assist in finding those solutions, no matter what your crisis is. Um, and the entryway to get that help is our gate, what we call the gateway. And it's a very simple number, 211, that's available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And when you're talking about the community's gateway, it's really to help, hope, and heal. I loved reading those three things. Absolutely. You know, for all of us that are struggling, sometimes we may feel like it's it's just our struggle. We may feel isolated. We may feel alone and we don't have any hope. And so we want to be that provider. We want to get you back to that place by providing you help, hope, and ultimately healing. And now getting back to the uh, 50th anniversary celebration, you're taking each month and, and having a different topic, a different theme, if you will. Explain what January is and, and really why you wanted to kind of break it up like this to really make this year special. Well, I mean, all of us have been struggling with COVID and all sorts of other types of issues. And so we decided, you know, it really would make sense for us to focus on one issue of our lives each month. And so we're going to start January, like we all do, uh, with a new year, new you. And really, as we're thinking about new year, new you, and we think about resolutions and we think about those things, oftentimes we prioritize a lot of stuff. I mean, Natalie, you know that, you know, we talk about weight loss. We'll talk about, you know, maybe balancing our checkbooks and things like that. But one of the things we don't talk about oftentimes is our mental health, our behavioral health. So what we're focused on this month at the Crisis Center is to really focus on you and how important it is to take care of your mental health by making sure that you're taking time for yourself. Give yourself permission to take time for yourself. Uh, we believe that if folks really focus in that area, that folks are going to feel better and they're going to better be able to cope with all the things happening in their lives. Clara, is it just me, but I feel like lately we have heard, you know, from a pop culture standpoint, from a national standpoint, people are being more open about mental health and, and maybe mental health struggles and the tools and resources. Are you hearing that from the level uh, that you're at to be able to help people directly? Absolutely. And if there's any positive to the pandemic, Nellie, it has been this awareness that behavioral health is real. We've had many callers call 211 and for the very first time go, oh, I get it now. I understand what people mean when they say they're depressed or they're anxious because I'm experiencing it for the first time myself. And so we are thrilled that individuals are now starting to really recognize the importance of their mental health. And now the next step is how do I take, how do I prevent a mental health crisis or a mental health emergency? And that's by making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves, that we're evaluating our life and looking at the things that cause us stress and anxiety, figure out how we can reduce those things. And at the same time, you know, instead of filling the bucket with all the stressful stuff, how do we empty that bucket? Well, we do that by taking care of ourselves, doing things that are just for us and giving us permission to do that. Well, you know what? I think you're going to need to come on every month so we can continue this conversation. Clara, again, 211, the best place to call. It is confidential to get that support. I can't say that enough. Crisiscenter.com. And thank you again.